Test Automation Engineer, version 2.0, question 1. Which of the following is a limitation of test automation? If you read ISTQB questions in your exam, uh, beware of some little words like limitation. If we are asked about limitation, we are answering about limitation, not any other trait of test automation. We are thinking about limitation only. So, answer A. Usability tests can be automated effectively. This is wrong because usability tests are usually conducted manually because people have to assess the outcomes of the tests. So this is wrong answer. B. Test automation can be executed only after the system under test is implemented and deployed. Uh, it is more or less true. Why less? Because if you think about unit tests, uh, they are automated tests and they can be conducted prior to uh, full implementation and deployment of uh, the system. So uh, this is rather less than more. Uh, let's leave it at that now. Uh, so B is probably wrong. And let's go to C answer. Uh, test automation can only check results that can be verified visually. No, that's of course wrong because uh, if you think about API testing, in API testing you don't check results uh, visually. Yeah, you have JSONs or XMLs and you don't read XMLs, you don't visualize XMLs. You can check specific fields in JSONs or XMLs, so this is completely wrong. And what about answer D? Test automation can only check results that can be verified by code. This is more or less correct, uh, but rather more than less. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, here it's stated uh, that can be verified by code. Uh, you can think about codeless, uh, codeless test automation and uh, within codeless test automation you don't really write uh, code for test automation, but you can think that underneath uh, your boxes with test steps, there is some code which executes these uh, test steps. So uh, this is rather correct. So from A, B, C and D answers, the D is the most correct. So we answer D.